so cardiac axis is defined as direction of wave of ventricular depolarization in a vertical plane that's quite a mouthful and slightly hard to understand so what I, how i like to go about it is like this i like to divide the dimensions into two vertical and horizontal the vertical dimension being the y axis and the horizontal dimension being the x axis if you imagine the heart to be sitting at the origin the normal axis lies somewhere like this that is the current of ventricular depolarization is directed towards the apex now if i were to tell you the values of normal values of cardiac axis i would say it lies somewhere the normal axis lies between minus 30 to plus 90 degrees so if you ever are asked in your practical exam what where does the normal cardiac axis lie in the vertical plane i think you should be comfortable to answer that it lies between minus 30 to plus 90 degrees now i'm going to erase this thing so that i could explain the next thing in detail whenever looking for cardiac axis i want you guys to look at the qrs complexes so a qrs complex can either be predominantly positive or predominantly negative or it can be something like isoelectric like little bit positive and the same amount of negative so we will not talk about this in this video as it's a slightly tough concept to understand i'll just talk about these two but i promise that i'll talk about cardiac axis in detail in my third video so i want you guys to look at the qrs complexes of these three leads that is lead 1 lead 2 and lead 3 now when looking at them you should determine if the if they are predominantly positive or predominantly negative deflections now if you see a qrs complex that is predominantly positive in lead 1 and predominantly positive in lead 2 you can comfortably say that the axis is normal that is the axis lies between minus 30 to plus 90 degrees now as it's a two dimension thing it can either go to the left or to the right again i talk about detail i talk about them in detail in my third video for now to identify if there is left axis deviation or there is a right axis deviation i want you guys to remember few things about these three leads if you see a uh, lead one qrs complex that is positive like lead one is looking like this and lead 2 that is negative that is lead 2 qrs complex that is looking like this it means there is left axis deviation now i'm going to erase this thing again so that i could explain right axis deviation in right axis deviation i want you guys to focus on lead 1 and lead 3 if you see lead 1 that is predominantly negative and lead 2 that is predominantly positive lead i'm sorry lead 3 that is predominantly positive it means the axis is towards rightward so that's a very simple way of remembering the axis and if there is any axis deviation left or right now i'm 